I'm writing a paper on the recent um, election of a FIFA president and his subsequent resignation, uh, focusing on the problems leading up to uh, what's been going on in FIFA. And I'm doing this for a kinesiology coaching class, coaching soccer. So, the first thing that I'm going to do is go to a news organization and whenever I'm t looking for soccer or um, sports, world sports, I usually go to CNN, not CNN, um, it's the world, not BBC, what is it? Um, Maybe it is CNN World. So I'm going to go to that site and I'm going to look up and at least read. Oh, it's on the front page. Of course it is. It's in the news. I'm going to read the first article. Because well, I did read the article where he got elected and how there was a prince that backed out in the second round because he didn't get enough votes. In this article, they mentioned the UEFA governing body um, for Europe, so I'll do, I'm going to add that to what I'm going to look into. Uh, as well as England's Football S Association.
going to go next to Gal oh, it's right there. Galileo. I'll look up a couple articles on if they have anything on the actual election process because that was kind of interesting. Um, and um, I'm going to start there. Spring events as a sensitive election was made. Okay. Um, so I'm going to check out this article on sporting events as sites of International Law Society and Governance, the 2014 Brazilian World Cup, Institutional Agendas, Ethics and Governance Structures, Fixing FIFA, the Experience of an Independence Governance Committee. That's an academic journal. This article looks like it's going to have some of, at least some of the information that I'm interested in, uh, because in, from the abstract I can tell it is, I mean, there's a lot about marketing and sponsorships and stuff like that for the World Cup, but there's also, um, it looks to be some information on how FIFA itself as an organization and specifically the president have been um, seen in the different scandals and the process of selecting the host states for the World Cups which I know has been in the news before and that's been a s contention um, and there's definitely some stuff in here on how um, they talk about reform, which is one of the big reasons I know that this, according to the CNN article, why the newly elected FIFA president was asked to step down. So that one I'm going to bookmark, and I'm going to look next into um, the UEFA governing body. No, maybe I should spell it right. U A F A. Yes. Mm, not so much. Oops. U A F A. Not really cut. Okay, that's not going to be in it. There looks to be some journals, this is kind of journal about UEFA um, articles in different languages. 
mainly talking about the UEFA Cup. Um, actually, maybe I'm going to I'm going to join UEFA and FIFA. I don't know if my Spanish is good enough to read that article, but it looks like exactly what I'm looking for, and that's UEFA weighing in on the recent elections in FIFA. Let me see if I can find that in English. If not, I'll give my... Um, Well, this is something that probably is pretty directly related. Um, UEFA fears FIFA will alter the Garcia report. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. Let's see. This keyboard is tiny. That doesn't have anything to do with what I'm doing. <sighs> okay. Um. So this article. Oh. UEFA fears FIFA will alter the Garcia report, and this looks to be about um, um, apparently there was a report into the World Cup bid corruption, and there f it looks like UEFA is upset that it's going to be altered be f to help protect. Sepp Blatter, who happens to be the gentleman in FIFA that's in question right now. Um, let's see. And here's the same guy that was mentioned in the other article, uh, Michael Platini, who was pretty vocal, according to the other article. Uh, and he looks to be pretty vocal still. Um, So this article looks like it's going to give me some background information on to why I just got started. 